Jones from the corner. That's no good for three. Jericho Sims runs it down. Sims to Jones. Kai Jones. Plus the foul. Kai Jones. Did a you understand what goes into winning and what doesn't. That did not go into winning as a result, not starting today. But he's very patient. And to his credit, Greg Brown was great at practice today. Well, you can't fall into him. Ty Jones steps inside for two. Way up in the air goes Brown and almost tipped it home. Who's educated his feet. Jones thought about it, decides to try it. Good decision. Keep in mind, Texas had yesterday off after their Kansas game was suspended for a COVID test that was positive. But Oklahoma State, tempo and pace really gave Baylor problems yesterday. Just curious, Fran, if you think they can... Ramey shaking and baking. Back outside to Kai Jones. Shot fake for two. That's in and out. And Keelan Boone's got the rebound. Yeah, didn't like that shot by... Been six for six. Febra's four for four. A guard goes to the free throw line, and they're automatic. Well, that's good coaching. And Chaka's going to play the platoon game on this second free throw. the sixth starter according to shot smart around and out from three driving against Royce Ham and it's intercepted by Kai Jones again Texas on the ball oh. and Jones finishes himself man this kid Miles rejected by Kai Jones to your point about what oh. oh, and he can do that too Another throwdown. And Jace Febris clears it for Texas. Making his way back from knee surgery last March. He is a fixture in the rotation now. Ty Jones off the mark. But TCU, but what's the alternative for TCU? <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now they really don't have an alternative. And he produces. I mean, like you said, 20 consecutive games of double figures. So he produces, overlooked and been overshadowed. But now he's finally getting his opportunity. He's making the most of it. Good mm. ball movement from Texas. It leads to another Kai Jones dunk. And and a lob. Oh, Kai Jones oh. crushes the rim again. Did you have to wear a mask as TCU turns it over again? Oh, look out here. Kai Jones right down Main Street for two more. And it's going to lose the spot to Elijah Harkless, but using that pin down well. Turn around. Oh, what a rebound by Cunningham. Kicks it out. Febris again. Kai Jones. <laughs> Kai Jones dominating in the paint. Boy, the offensive goal. Ramey, nice crossover, almost lost it. Bounce back to Jones, and Kirk West said not this time. Meets him at the rim. Now Ramey against Harkless. 
Sims, offensive rebound. Jones almost lost the handle. Brown oh. coming in like he wanted a slam. Condit was in the way, but he gives it up to Kai Jones, who does complete the, the flood. You miss out on Texas, you miss out on Oklahoma, like you miss out on some key games that could have been potential losses. So, oh. whoa! Kai Jones from Courtney Ramey, redshirt senior, who did officially last week say, even though I can come back next year, I'm going to go to try, I'm going to go try to play pro ball somewhere. So this is his last home game as a Cyclone. He's... But I'm with you, King. I mean, Iowa State just keeps hanging around here. Texas hasn't created enough separation where you think, hey, this game's probably over. They get close. He would have been about 20 something. They're going to blow him out. Do they jump Baylor? Yo, yo, yo. That's an interesting question. There's a turnaround. Kai Jones, who's had a point tonight. It, it's Illinois is obviously one of the top five teams in the nation. And have a chance oh. to go to the final oh. four. He couldn't get it over the rim, Jones. <laughs> oh. I feel great athlete. So with Jones on the bench, kick it right out. Jones off the bounce. Top one on Santo Silva. Board it inside. Cunningham, another offensive. Sends on the perimeter. Coleman, lobbed to the post. Kai Jones catches and finishes Kai Jones. A terrific sophomore from the Bahamas. Boom. And they, you got the ball. So you got to, you know, once again, encourage uh, the guards aggressively. I mean, I would give him the ball. <laughs> Probably like that, Pete. Yeah. Uh, I can't say everything he said, but you got the message across, Carl. Coleman playing point with Jones still on the bench. Into Sims, finding Kai Jones. Good look from Sims to Jones and Kai. He can get up, and he can put it down. Ramey wants it. I didn't like that shot, Carter. Ah! Because it didn't go in. Yes, I like that shot. You like that one. Get the ball to the big guy. She had a sugar. And the bonus. The foul is... Coleman cut off by McClung. So oh, Kai Jones heaves it. Sims tried to keep it alive. Another comes from deep. Coleman, no look pass down the lane to Kai Jones. Now, Bob, was that a, and your team looking like what your team can look like, is it as simple as guys like Ochai Abaji and Christian Brown just hitting shots when they have an opportunity? He said, I don't think that's oversimplifying it at all. And off of their defense, Kansas is getting a lot of easy baskets. And that wing jumper not there for Cunningham. Offensive rebound, there's an easy basket on the putback by Kai Jones all year long and Texas needs to get something going to the rim here. They've settled for jump Cunningham. Cunningham. Oh, gets to the rim. Kai Jones. He tries again and gets it outside to Jones. Jones spin cycle. It's on time for Kai Jones. Give great this look sharp. Remember this is the first of a three game Texas swing for the Mountaineers. They'll be here till next Thursday. Matthews off the glass and good. 1% in this game. Yeah, and look at their spacing. They're playing four out around Sims. That's not a shot. That's some, uh, what's his name? Is it Eric Estrada? Right. Hey, you go way back. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm making so, myself. Is that the chips? Back to back, all Frank. What an amazing story. Frank, a freshman from LA, scored a career high eight points the last time out against Iowa State. They were the only points so far of his TCU career. If something is going to give him a chance in the NBA, great ball movement to Kai Jones. Hold that dunk. Since in the ability to get stopped and also keep Nimhart as quiet as possible here in this second half. Kai Jones for three. Leaves it short. Calling for the high. 
what I thought would be a screen. Ty Jones will take the long J and Ty Jones. Fuller initially left him some room, then it closed. Virginia, Kansas at Texas Tech. Still keep in mind they have one game against Baylor they have to make up as well. It's postponed earlier in the year. So plenty of opportunity as Ty Jones gets the Kansas State. I'm not sure that you want to do that with a guy like Nigel Pack on the floor, especially as many games as they're lost. You don't want them to get confidence. Ty Jones checking in and immediately. How about the execution out of the timeout? One of the key elements from a coaching perspective of the game, scoring after timeouts. You saw him out in Treviso, Italy at, at Eurocamp, and just the progress he's made since then at his age. I mean, there you can see just catching the ball in traffic. You know, he's a big-time athlete, and I'm just looking at the man inside. Really athletic sophomore. Loose ball, Jones picks it up. Oh, I thought he walked. What yeah. is the he dunked it? Yeah. You know, schools being segregated, and you didn't see African Americans playing against white players. March 1944, he had a great team at North Carolina College, now at UNC. He's not only in the hall as a contributor and as a coach, but his Tennessee A and I team, one of the great teams in college basketball history. Three-time NAIA champions, 57, 58, and Iba and the great ones. A close, but Donovan Williams couldn't finish right there, though. Kai Jones does, and it's Texas it's in on the eight-minute mark. John Chomby, Dick Vitale. Joe, we watch Vital right there. I think he could be one heck of a tight end in the NFL. When you think about guys that have done that, think about Gonzalez. Great, great seven minutes, really big to Texas. They can't allow them to jump up big on him. Feed inside of the throw down there for Kai Jones. Kai, you know, he picked his Saints to beat my Bucks, the Packers to beat my Bucks. And look at I tell you, I hope he picks Kansas City and Chiefs. Look at that move, Kai Jones the throw down. An offensive efficiency for Gonzaga and then Baylor top three in both offensive and defensive efficiency. Jones inside, shot contested, and they get a foul from the Longhorns. Coleman. And that one way off the mark from Kai Jones. Harmon gets it back, puts it in, and the Sooners off the board. Davion Harmon is playing the best basketball of his young career so far. Nice drive inside. Jones lost it, got it knocked away. Sooners the other way. Some perspiration yep. down there from that timeout by uh, by Texas. Jones pull up. That's a two. And Oklahoma by a couple. Speed down low. Kai Jones looking for space oh, and he got rejected challenge. that time by taking his way into the college game and then attacking the guys with the fouls, no doubt. That's good Jones Jones with the throw yeah. down. Nicely done, Kai Jones. And, and what I love three players and three guys have four fouls. Yeah. Good look inside, good finish. Easy basket, they spread it. Screen. Texas's man to man is their fastball, and it's got no movement to me. So you got to change up a little bit and throw some junk at him. Ty Jones steps back, Good. buries a three. They needed that. There's no question, but he's a senior. He's got, he should know better by now. That's good footwork again. That's good basketball right there. Go. Yeah, that's where he's. Armin with his seventh turnover in this one. Matt Coleman can't Coleman be afraid to shoot that three. Big chunk of time with the foul trouble. Shot wouldn't go. Coleman. Good defense. Like it. Good job Good by Coleman inside. keeping his dribble. And he found Kai Jones. Even when... You're seeing elite energy and defense on both ends. 
There's a little roll to Kai Jones, and Kai Jones has really started making a name for himself. Well, and that Mark Vital's not going to put up huge numbers, but you know how valuable he is to that Baylor team. Very much so. And this young man, Kai Jones, continues to improve and get better. Loose ball. Who wants it? McClung comes away with Get a steal trying to.
and he lays it in. And a foul. Look at the length on Kai. As they drive. If you're going to drive in, I'm not looking to feel them. I'm looking to draw them and then kick it to somebody who's standing. Other end, the uh, the Longhorn wearing number 22 for his uh, four siblings. In the, in the season, the game men are made in the paint. Feast Week presented by Lowe's. Texas hanging on. North Carolina hasn't led since the early moments, but they are just pounding their back to that place at the Atlantis and the Bahamas and Nassau where the, the, where the islands come right next to each other and you can just swim in place because of the current that's running through it. It's really special to imagine. What was the shot clock on the inbound pass? And on the set at two. It, it'll be at one then. Able to get Trace and Race going here. Why do you think that is? Basketball oh, more than anything is a, is a mental and psychological game. Throw it down. But the they've kept the local no. art scene. They've kept the local art scene and the right. eco-friendly nature scene. of it. Right. Oh, you gotta love the beer scene. Kai Jones. Throw it Hammers down. It home. Kai. They got Kai, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison singing the backup vocals. Ain't That's no a doubt good deal. in no one's mind that uh, loves the finest thing around, right? Whatever. Screw up in. Ooh, smooth. Kellen Grady. Did you grow up in a house? I did, uh, with my parents. Just just the three of us. How about you? Yeah, come on. Never measure yourself by what you have done. Traveling violation. Eric waves it off. Eric from Minneapolis himself. Young June, not able to get it done. The closing scene in the coldest, well, because he was the coach. The coach is and in I'm charge of rain time. <laughs> not just a ranger. You're one of the Blue Ridge Rangers. Three game to take on Texas Tech. That shot is off the mark. Kai Jones wants to run, controls it, and one for Kai Jones. Pass into the paint, Jones with this stuff. Cunningham brings it up. Kai Jones, look out! Back with the vengeance to start the sophomore season. Stronger, but he's got to be the brains behind the operation with all of his experience. Liddell, here we go. Kai Jones, yes, sir! Defense in the offense, making a look. Tag pass by Levi. Here's Cunningham to Ramey. Go. He's running with Jones. Hey, we could have predicted that. Yeah, you saw, uh, I mean, and it looks easy. Daka has brought here to this program with this talent. Cunningham inside, nice feed. Jones wanted to throw it down. It is rejected. Oh, that was a great Sean Ray. Up to Kai Jones, collects the bucket and the foul. Okay. Liddell, nice defense. Well, this is where Texas can be good. Uh oh, yes, sir. Again, Kai Jones makes it look so easy. Kai Jones with the jab. Andrew Jones back to Kai. Skitters out to Febris, who knocks down his second three. And what, once you draw help, then you can play drive and kick. From the and the Mountaineers, Taz Sherman drills that one. One of the things we touched on is how good a three-point shooting team this is for Bob Huggins. Jones oh, yeah. had to take and it away. Remember, sure. Coleman, Ramey, yeah. Sims, all in double figures. Ramey with a game high 16 as Coleman buries one and he's got. Gets credit for the assist. He threw it almost behind Sims and it was go go gadget arms. See what Andrew Jones has in store. He wants it all. This situation for Texas, not unlike the last six games last season where they had a lot of injuries and still managed to win five of the last six. Defensive breakdown by Texas. He got loose. 
Jones inside finds Ham who puts it home. Nicely done. Ty Jones is going to shoot. You know, I'm, uh, I usually am a pretty good referee, but usually get more than right than I do. Big basket. Oh. Big basket. Kamika Heppel with the lead. Chris ball movement all on the perimeter. Jones inside. Jones, 16 points. Chris ball movement all on the perimeter. Jones inside. Jones, 16 points. Jones. Nothing there. You got a big fella. <laughs> hey, but that some good handles there. Brown, another three ball. Now he's really heating it up. Eight. Oh my gosh. You're never gonna guess where we're calling you from. You want to see our new house? Oh man. Oh, I have to sleep here. Good night. Is this happening? <laughs> I like to hit birdies. I love birds. And there are 91 different species of birds in the Pisgah, at least. And then Bob says, this is not going to work, Bill. You're too big for the seats. And so he said, let's go see Harry Carey. So we went upstairs, and and then all of a sudden, Harry put the microphone in front of Bob, and Bob, Bob just took over. And Texas, Longhorns by 21. It, when Tra this speaking game. of traveling, speaking of traveling. Yes, please. Were, were you able to watch any of the games yesterday? Yeah, the games that, that the beer. All I ever wanted was more. Let's just go to overtime in every game. That sounds and great to me. Just have the me. games go. Just have them run seamlessly. That's knocked away. TCU another turnover. Another lob to Kai Jones. He was in too deep and stepped out. And good to see Shaka Smart back on the sideline doing what he loves. But he just felt helpless, and he said, it wasn't just that we lost, I just wanted to be Iowa State, another turnover. Yeah, I I thought Jared Butler was going to be the runaway, not runaway, but seven points for Coleman in this first half on three of four shooting. Guy Jones, that may have been deflected by Condida. Kai Jones. Fade away for Jones. Rolls off the rim. Ripping it away is Kai Jones. He has it taken away by Bryce Footing. Somehow managed to get it to Abaji. He's on the deck as well. Andrew Jones cries it free. Traveling call. Wow. Can't hit. Ramey rebound. And we haven't called Taj tweets name all season long the freshman from Wildwood New Jersey so far I literally changed my life when I refinanced with so far that allowed me to Kevin Connors the old days you could call timeout if you had possession before you stepped out of bounds, that is no longer the case. The three-point shooting for Texas. both teams has been lights out, yes, against this K-State zone. Remember, the Oklahoma State zone gave Texas a lot of problems on Saturday. It's just bringing it every possession. You know, early on in this game, we saw a couple blow buys, you know, defensively. I think he has the tools to be a really good defender. He has a high IQ in that regard. The advancement of... You know, African Americans as coaches at the Division One level. Yeah, it's in Mike Boynton's best interest for Shaka Smart to succeed. Ramey steps in, trying to save it, and it ends up with the Longhorns. Kai Jones still going. Jones give off. Jones from way downtown, and then Cunningham bumped into Kai Jones and caused. On the way for Caleb Booth, 22 is a new career high. Jones gets blocked. Did they call the foul? I think they did. Yeah, great inbound. He's got a heck of a future, Kai Jones. Rest. Can't teach that athleticism. He can't teach that size. Jones had it knocked Saturday. He and Austin Reeves provide a solid backboard for Lon Cooper. 
Ty Jones jumping it up with five, but oh. that's only because I had better players. But trust me, when I had to think about what I was going up against, I was concerned. Then you realize, I'll tell you what, look at look at Gibbs aggressive. Ty Jones trying to pull up. Good hustle by the Sooners. So Febris back and gives them a, an added element. Turnover, that's a trap. Play the calculated arts. I'm a little surprised that Texas hasn't tried a little 2 3 zone. They've been a great man to man team. And catch with McBride, McNeil, and also Sherman. So then now we can open up things on the inside for Culver. Here's a steal. Osa Boy and feeding. Can't get it to fall. Kai Jones blocked by Culver. On the deck, a travel by Kai Jones. Contested. He gets a rebound. That is his job, and he has embraced it this season. Well, he, he to me, Ham and Cunningham are well respected as a player. Educationally, he's as good as any you'll have on a roster, and he accepts his accepts his role. Well, the youngster from Austin Westlake. Number 30 in white. Shot clock is down to two, and eventually it's turned over, and Gillespie's going to get it. That is just too good. <laughs> You're watching ESPN Speed Week, presented by Lowe's. One last look at Love. Named at this point, but zero turnovers for North Carolina. They've been able to claw their way back in there. It's just a spectacular performance. It's, you know how it's Potter's birthday today. Yeah, tomorrow is Augie's birthday. Augie's had, Augie has been preparing very, very hard. He could play in a lot of gyms. Three left-handers in this game today. Carter Collins and Sam Meninga for one of the That would Move your feet, not your, not your torso. Talk about empowering. They're going into Boone again. Anderson, tough shot, swatted down by Kai. To do, I mean, why can't Kai Jones do that? Yes. <laughs> Miles rejected by Kai. Interestingly enough, according to ESPN's latest mock draft from a couple of weeks ago, Kai Jones. Uh, Ramey's hit his last two shots after missing his first four tonight. That's blocked. And Texas has won seven of the last nine overall meetings with Iowa State. And was, he lost. That was the big difference in the win versus Kansas earlier this week 24 to 31 from the strike Bobby. Matthews off the glass and good I think he's the X factor for this team he's only had eight points in the last 65 team in the last game he played against Oklahoma in that dramatic double overtime loss in Morgantown state yeah and they've seen some of that they thought uh, away from game situations he just kind of found himself. Ty Jones, that's really impressed me from the start of the season is is the skill level. You know, the shooting. He has a feel for the game along with Texas. He went through a little struggle for a while, but now he's having a real good year this year. Bodies up. I'll make free throws, and right now it is all Baylor. We have shown here late in the game why. That's not a perfect. The homegrown youngsters fit in nicely. Right side, Gibson couldn't hit. Quet had it. ball. John Chambi framed for Schiller. Big 12 basketball from Austin. Number five, Texas. Number 24, Oklahoma. Nine tributes around the sporting world and really around the world for those two. Campus in 2015. They told us about this eighth grader in the Cedar Park area of town. First step was good by Jones. Can't finish. Key possession here for the Cyclones. 
Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. That was good by Jones. Can't finish. Key possession here for the Cyclones. Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. Because of the teammates and point guard's ability to put it on a dime in terms of the pass. Second chance opportunity. Another freshman off the bench and Rondell Walker. Ramey probing, goes against three defenders. That one sent back. He, to me, Ham and Cunningham are the unsung heroes. Get out, says problem. Jones. And it was only a two-point game for Texas State. They played Mississippi. Maybe too much patience there. They could all run the court. Coleman tries to pickpocket it. Pass into the paint, Jones. With this city and ability to make plays and lack of nerves, potentially maybe with the exception of Brown. night for the early pace to be expected. Yeah, I agree. Baylor played that first half in quicksand. Cunningham short. Through these things with our young players, but at the same time, make sure that we understand what goes into winning and what doesn't. That did not go into winning at... Here comes Cade Cunningham down to the last 10 seconds. Now Oklahoma State... built this team this season and he's been under a serious microscope down in Austin you build this team you're playing Reeves working on Ramey pulls up for the tie rebound Kai Jones Never forget when Greg Brown dunked on uh, JT from Baylor might have been the nastiest dunk I've seen all year <laughs> well with that counting his turnover 
Turnovers are even. I think this game would be way closer. Big shot right here. Harris shot and looked like Coleman lands and flashed open in the. Has 11 points tonight at a career high. 21 against Texas in the first meeting. You can't finish. You foul a guy on a hook shot. I mean, you got to be better than that. Like when the tournament happens, it's a close game. You got to know. Points in the paint. It's really helping the Longhorns early on. First field goal for Texas in over three minutes. But then a defensive breakdown bothered at the rim. Bring it right back. Seventh game of the year. And that is a big piece the Longhorns are adding late. Definitely. Jocka told us the other day that that's his best three point shoot. Brown from deep. Oklahoma High School Player of the Year, Bob. I can take a guess. At <laughs> times, but he's had a great year. The horn was the game clock, and so he he knows he had a chance at a point blank basket. Q, right? Did you send a note down or something? No, uh, we, we try to time it like that. And then Aid with two early fouls, but uh, can't complain anytime you get to watch the number one pick. Yeah, no question. And let's talk a little bit about you to evolve and improve as a player as he heads to the you know best league in the world. Yeah, the big has more vision, you know, than most guys in his mold. So, no question. I mean, the future is very bright long term for Pat Jones. My body's been medical school, and you know, back in a time when Jim there Crow. was no, yeah, Jim Crow and paint. Shot short that time. By the way, for Caleb Boone, 22 is a new career high. Jones gets blocked. They can struggle for a while, but now he's having a real good year this year. Bodies on the floor, no call. John Higgins, Scott Drew's group the last half dozen years. The ability to offensive rebound. Butler, shot wouldn't go. Rebound environment. Williams, jumper wide, open, tipped downhill Sooners with eight offensive rebounds step back off the glass won't go how's Davion Harmon to take a break they don't lose anything going to the bench the start the after the timeout he went right back to it wow that killed the sporting world and really around the world for those two Texas down going to work. Good pump fade. Gibson mid-range jumper short. Kai Jones. Right there. And look at look at look at the uh, Coleman. That shot off the mark. A tough one indeed. It's going on Sims tonight. Five to shoot. Nice. Great jump stop by PV, but it doesn't go. Third way up they've missed tonight. You remember that? You remember that? Kohler took a moment to collect it. Goes to the left hand. Another. Early, everything pretty much is going through Solomon Young. Pull up Jay. No good from Jaden Walker. With your handles. It's going to be primarily Johnson running the point. As Coleman Lambs is off the mark. And Johnson on one end, and then you're having to card their best big on the other end. Fading away, Javen Johnson way off. Hitting the deck as well. It's a 10 point lead. Young the other way quickly. Kai Jones corrals the rebound. Key possession here for the Cyclones. Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. The erase. Early, everything pretty much is going through Solomon Young. Pull up Jay. No good from Jaden Walker with your handles. It's going to be primarily Johnson running the point. As Coleman Lambs is off the mark. And Johnson ball on one end, and then you're having to card their best big on the other end. Fading away, Javen Johnson away. Hitting the deck as well. It's a 10 point lead. Young the other way quickly. Kai Jones corrals the rebound. Key possession here for the Cyclones. Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. The eraser.
hit the backboard first. Here's a chance for the Pokes to run. Spotting up, Williams. A long His best on ball defender. Gets the top five scorer in the league. Dude. Giving it up easily. Do with lack of practice in COVID. Matt Coleman knocked down the three, his first of the night. Lead back to double figures. O'Bannon short. I think I heard one of George Carlin's words. That's all right. TSPN Plus. Chuck O'Bannon. <laughs> 8 of 12 for Texas coming in the paint. Reeves kicks to Harmon. Manic, who was hot in the first half. Manic left open. Good close. And man looking pure. Nebris with 11. Harmon almost lost it. Harkless. And they get it across just in time. Coleman lands three. And Texas has won seven of the last nine overall meetings with Iowa State. Was lost. 40 minute question for Texas. Hot start, now it's cooling off, and the Red Raiders are bringing it. Yep. Gotta be more consistent, and streaky. Now, Dr. Smart threw up a great game plan card. They're listening to him, the young men. Sometimes in a big game, you know, you don't listen to the coach. You just have a field goal in the second half. McClung attacks. Back in the corner. Two congested cards. Two packed in. McClung late in the clock. Mac McClung. Shot big. Got the foul. Well, he got all ball. Beautiful. That three is short for Culver looking for some kind of help. That's from way down. Jones from D. Too strong. He can't call timeout. Be off. I mean, just spacing along the court, being just a little bit closer to your man is the difference right now between guys like him. He's as much of a starter as any of the other five guys. In fact, Coach Smart says he has six starters, not five. Pack, little bit of space. In and out. Cade looked like if he were surrounded by Corey Kispert and Drew Timmy and Joel Ayayi. So, you know, I still think Cade is a little bit more. Now TCU to get the ball back and win the game. Let's see. Cunningham here. Shot clock winding down. I mean, he didn't really get a chance with summer school or any of that to get that early start. So, you know, the development for so many of these young guys is kind of thwarted all over the country. Only free throws, and right now it is all Baylor. They have shown here late in the game why. That's not a perfect. I mean, he's played for Chaka Smart's club, and absolutely, John, he, he's gotten better every year. This is a good matchup tonight. Two guys who played a lot of USA basketball, because there's, if there's any one player that I would not want to play without down the stretch, it would be Matt Coleman. Got to pick up a big win on the road, even against the short-handed Texas team, this would be large for them. It's a break Hill down. the three. Jones's hand down the stretch like Reeves and Harmon. Hard blitz. In game. Closest it's been since it was 32-30. Reeves from deep. Off on the part of the white jerseys. Look at the stances. Now look at Kai Jones trying to check Mac McClung. Bad foul. Yep. And always fun to watch a young man improve the way Jericho Sims has. Wild shot by McClung, but it's saved by Santos Silva. These are not good. I just don't know what they're doing. Seriously. They had a numbers, and they turned it into five on five. Well, Mac McClung's absolutely there. But as Andrea Hootie, who's coached 49 NBA players, 
as the strength coach told us yesterday. Plays Andrew Jones as Ramey jumped back in for Coleman. And finish that really impressive by Andrew Jones. Williams spinning wow, over Ty Jones. Lost the game in Austin. Young. SoFi literally changed my life. When I refinanced with SoFi, that allowed me to pay off aggressively. And Miles, number one in purple, Nimhard 22. Both top 10 in scoring in the Big 12. Samuel facing the double team. Have a sense of desperation about getting into the NCAA tournament. Nothing a given right now. Good read. Back inside yeah. and a great look. Without Manning, this is a more athletic team to generate offense if you're Texas. There's that drive again. See, they're creating that angle. Manning inside flips it up. Here he is. He had 20 points the other night off the bench at Oklahoma State. Pass over the top. Culver. Big 12 now on ESPN Plus, a must-have for Big 12 fans. Well, prior to that. And that's a Texas foul. On Jericho Sims, a wave three points per game for Baylor. Yeah, a team that I usually think defense first and hit their average in over 90. That can give you 15 to 20 points on any given night. Great point. Young. Something that coaches teach. You know, sometimes you, you can't just play, quote-unquote, fundamentals. They get you spread out and just dive to the rim. Caesar made everybody miss. Hepa comes by. Got a piece. Good for his confidence, especially if it stays that way. Caesar and one against Cal. Exactly right. Almost three years ago, early January, yeah. the diagnosis was leukemia. Not sure. It's Forte. Uh, as we learned in the first show, the more you know, the more you suffer. <laughs> Second chance there for Texas and a foul on the crash in by Kai Jones. Now we're early on. The, the winner of this game is going to contribute to the player of the tournament. Check it out. Oh my gosh. You're never going to guess where we're calling you from. You want to see our new house? Oh. Yes, indeed. Out of bounds to North Carolina. And what's Tyler doing now? Frank Brown's got two in the first half, the uh, Austin native. His parents were great athletes, Greg Brown. We were there with Michael Jordan. 
in Chicago for the playoffs. We lived there every spring. And so one day there was a halibut, halibut. Yeah, the Dodgers. I, I, I can't remember. But I just had to tell Chase, I said, look, just be careful. You know, we are guests. To find out a lot about what this team is made of when they get there. Yeah, they're getting into it early in the season. Four by four vehicles will remain open. They'll have to make that three ball because the zone keeps those three guards from driving to the paint. Cunningham a step back. Here he comes. He can go left to your righty. Lucky right there for the Cowboys. That's not a three-point play. TCU has it. Down by 14, five minutes left. Miles turns the corner. And the well, with that, counting as a turnover. Oh. Johnson has 11 points tonight at a career high 21. And Texas has won seven of the last nine overall meetings with Iowa State. Was at the USA. Uh, that is the first paint points in over 18 minutes for Texas. Shannon Payne. But now well, you got to play it out. Now. Two point game. One time out oh. for Kansas. Instead, cruising to the rim and losing it. There, there's no way that Deuce McBride, as good a defender as he is, can, can keep Matt Coleman from getting to the basket. And then Matt finishes with the X. And they got Kai Jones for a travel. Footwork, you got to know, see, 80 state. Yeah, and they've seen some of that. They thought uh, away from game situation. They just kind of found himself. Grow up before our eyes. I hope that Coach Weber remains because he's done a great job of helping these guys develop. Cade looked like if he were surrounded by Corey Kispert and Drew Timmy and Joel Ayayi. So, you know, I still think Cade is a little bit more. Their NCAA hopes are still alive. Their investigation appeal is still in play. Sloppy play right there by Kay. Gather it in. Lock. And Kai Jones is fouled by Avery Anderson. And I'm not sure. God, they're, gonna, they're playing Kentucky right now. But uh, I think it's a great opportunity for Oklahoma to get a quality out of conference win. Tough nice move. Nice job. Ball. John Chambi friend for Schiller. Big 12 basketball from Austin, number five, Texas, number 24, Oklahoma. Not yeah, but they shoot it well. Well, you know, John, that they're hitting the fastball right now, okay? Texas is man in game. 
Closest it's been since it was 32-30. Reeves from deep. Off. Big first half for Sherman off the bench. She's going to step back three it. Competition, and that has ignited him in terms of his energy level and what he's bringing to the table. He's basic against some of the other competition, and that has ignited him in terms of his energy level and what he's bringing to the I don't know. I don't know who can take National Player of the Year away from him. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody can. I, I think it's going to be guard. Jones would be the guy for Texas this year because he had gotten to a point where he was really, really, really. By the way, Bearcats, not Bobcats, and and that is what we need. Our <laughs> Texas needs. You can have guys jumping right over the top. The big fella, Kai. He is so good at running the floor. And how about the guards knowing that? And it was only a two-point game for Texas State. He played Mississippi. Maybe too much patience there. Back to Harold. Three on the shot clock. Pass Jones. Brown swallows it up. Dining on me. Colors in the street. Red, right, and orange. Be Royce Ham, my goodness. It's Throw a it ham slam. Go, but uh, his legacy will live on forever. Brady with the bucket, now has 14, out of control. And Smart threw up a great game plan card. And they're listening to him, the young men. Sometimes in a big game, you know, you don't listen to the coach. You listen to him all the time. Sometimes he comes in, comes out of the game for Shannon, but uh, he's got a lot of experience and a terrific player for the Red Raiders. All this exceptional defense. He's such a luxury, literally on both ends of the floor. Sounds good. He's as much of a starter as any of the other five guys. In fact, Coach Smart says he has six starters, not five. I just don't know what they're doing. Seriously. They had a numbers and they turned it into five on five. Well, back for close. Has to do it one on one to the rim.
shoot. Miles around Kai Jones, and he draws. Oh, too congested, caught him. Too packed in. McClung late in the clock. Mac McClung shot fake, got the foul for Bob Hood. Jones oh, yeah, had to take it away. Remember, Sher yeah, Sherman's been banged up, so getting him back is important. Too strong. He can't call Out timeout. Bounds. Sims. As they play the theme from Rocky gently in the background. We off. I mean, just spacing on the court, being just a little bit closer to your man, is the difference right now between guys like him there. But he's also tough, and like you said, a fantastic teammate. Well, how can you miss free throws after a hug? Ty Jones, that's really impressed me from the start of the season, is, is the skill level, you know, the shooting. He has a feel for the game. Allow TCU to get the ball back and win the game. Let's see. Cunningham here. Shot clock winding down. Kate Cunningham, and now Ty Jones on him. Cunningham gets inside, ball fake, and he gets fouled. In Texas, he went through a little struggle for a while, but now he's having a real good year this year. Body's on. Sensational, a career high 25 for Texas, but the Longhorns right now on the short end. Good tip away by Jones. It ends up. I'll make free throws, and right now it is all Baylor. They have shown here late in the game why. That's not a perfect pin roll that time. There was no help because all three other def uh, offensive players, weak side, up on McClung at one point or another. Five out. Texas doing a lot of switching again. Shannon takes it hard on the part of the white jerseys. Look at the stances. Now look at Kai Jones trying to check Mac McClung. Bad foul. Yep. And then. And they haven't been good offensively, Texas Tech. Here's Burt in foul trouble. Still knocks it down. First step was good by Jones. Can't finish. Key possession here for the Cyclones. Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. Difficult for Texas, as you would expect in the matchups that played so far this season. As the win against San Houston State was a four time. Greg, right there, it looked like he was going to shoot the corner three, decided to not. Called for the travel. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Greg. Post now, one on one. But look where Jones is. And a travel to call on Robinson Earl. Whether it's Sharp, whether it's Garrison Brooks, not related, I'm told, to Garrison Keeler. But today, the second, let's do this. Dizzying possibilities. Travel makes With us all realize that we are closer to one another. They're taking great care of me, man. They're, open, they're opening restaurants all over the place. I love Tommy Bahama. Hi, Gardner. Guard there. Doolittle and Reeves been impacting the game as Reeves. Three to shoot. Holyfield off the mark. Rock Cunningham and Royce Ham have combined for 15 points today, Fred. That's a two-pointer for As they have been in an offensive rhythm, you're starting with that young man, Ramey, and quite impressive. Haley drives. In this gym against... TCU. Taz Sherman split the double team. Talk about that. Number 42, Texas a and I. <laughs> Greater. Over Kai Jones. That's. Inhart's been relatively quiet with five points. And he can get hot quick. Rayer with the moves. They struggle to score. And we know from talking to Coach Smart that he'd like to put some pressure on this Iowa State. Seven.
And KU 0 for 4. Tristan and Aruna leans in. That's too strong with the left hand. The tip follow though. For Farabello, because he could be a professional player in Argentina right now. Nemhard on the drive. Jones couldn't block it. Nem As you mentioned, they really share the ball LSU well in their win over Florida. Another nail biter. They had six players in double figures. He's one for 24 on the year. He's still getting them up despite the percentages. That helps. They can match small. Under a minute to go in the first half. Garrett with the take. McCormick the rebound. See if Likely tries to take advantage right here on Kai Jones, and he will. Got him in the air. Block still. Blow, and it's been difficult for them to really break through that glass ceiling, if you will. To get Looking to press, but Oklahoma doing a good job. Just staying organized, not panicking, and getting the ball to do it. Wasn't it? Doolittle. He'll try. A long two. Five on the shot clock. Coleman's got to do something. Gets it off. Oh. Winding down. Picks up his dribble. He will repost on Jericho Sims. Three to shoot. Up under. And in. You talk about empowering. They're going into Boone again. Anderson, tough shot, swatted down by Kybine for only two points, and yet the Cowboys only down by five. Here's Anderson on the move, and he will go to the free step. Anderson picks up his dribble. Here's Ice Likely. Muscles one inside, and he'll go to the free throw line. And the three balls will, have, will be easier. Cade Cunningham, that was a brief rest. He's back on the floor, and it's back into the post to Boone. Boone to Boone, as Keelan Boone's got the rebound. Yeah, didn't like that shot by Kai Jones. He, the defender was still on him. Moncrief follows his miss. game on the digital platform so yeah you scan the tickets there we go 17 to 11 texas with this virginia just five and he fouled out in 31 minutes now he's got brock cunningham on him Nemhard flips it easily inside for two Interestingly enough, according to ESPN's latest mock draft from a couple of weeks ago, Kai Jones, uh, they hit eight threes, but 18 turnovers have been killer. D off the spin, and he's fouled. He went through nine normally in a, in, a, in a regular Big 12 year, but the Big 12 is always deep and arguably the best. They'll play somewhere professionally. I mean, he's a presence down low. When he gets the ball and is able to work, he can really score right there after the block. Then once he gets the ball back, you gotta locate the shooters. Kinda lays it in. Kinda did get credit for oh. he couldn't get it over the rim, Jones. <laughs> oh. Which doesn't happen very often. And then at the other digits again for Iowa State, they can create a turnover oh. there. Punched out by Tyler Harris. A chance to add. Coleman land. Circuit shot. Stick around with the Buzzer sounds. We'll visit with a member of the winning team in the Texas Longhorns. Featured this week in the Boston Globe. Out of Blackburn, Pete Gillen. Longhorns and Red Raiders. There's McClung. Slow offensive start. Texas. This is Texas Tech. Last year, this is just his seventh game of the year. And that is a big piece the Longhorns are adding late. Definitely on defense, one on offense. He almost willed that game into overtime. Cowboys won it, but he is bringing it. And now McCullough. In the ball, that's about it. But if you're not going to have vision of Matt Coleman, that was an easy backdoor cut and a terrific play by Texas. And on the game from that point on. Well, it seemed to have an impact. I mean, I know that the Fran Fraschilla pointed out during the broadcast that for players everywhere, that's not a, a, an excuse for things. But they had a player, players only meeting and uh, you know, competitive people have issues like that. Uh, Wilson from the corner. 
Gets after his own miss. Swoops in, and that's blocked. That's Greg Brown. Yeah, and the, and the one and done is for the super talents. Uh, but, you know, you know how it is. I mean, when you're when you're that eight, a good defense by Andrew Jones to stay in front of Jalen Wilson on that drive. Scooping is Harris on both ends of the floor and attacking on both ends. McCormick out of a double team finds Garrett. Matthews off the glass and good. I think he's the X factor for this team. He's only had eight points in the last 65 foul. Remember, John, you can hear everything down on the court today. State. Yeah, and they've seen some of that. They thought uh, away from game situations. And just kind of found himself. 17. Remember, he was scoreless without taking a single shot for a bulk of the first half. Kazuki. Puts it in off the glass. Last 10 games started out of the gate slowly, but he's shooting over 40% from three. His last nine contests still needs to improve as a decision maker, but I think NBA scouts really like why that was called. Thank you, sir. You got it. Feed inside. Here's Boone again. Flips it up. Inside, Ramey. He'll go to the line. And they put. They put. They put Ramey. It's amazing. Amazing shooting for a basketball team. You wonder why they're undefeated, because they defend as well. Leader and shot are smart, but Matt Coleman has been around this program for four years, and he is literally shot the smart brains off. The homegrown youngsters fit in nicely. Right side, Gibson couldn't hit. Quet had it. First half in Texas with only eight available scholarship players. Tributes around the sporting world and really around the world for those two. Well, they've got that floor spread very nicely with scores out there. He didn't say advantage. Bevers stepped in the passing lane. Jump ball is Texas. Loose ball. Oh, oh man! It got away and it ended. A very unsung hero for this Texas team. Brings that toughness. Here's McClung, nice drive. Look at that circus shot. McClung comes away with it. Nice feed. And the freshman PV had it blocked, but they're going to catch. Well, but fell a little short, but. You talk about empowering, they're going into Boone again. Anderson, tough shot, swatted down by Kai. Up to start the second half, playing with the three fouls. It's amazing, in the first half, Oklahoma State as a team only committed five total foul plays. Andrew Jones, as Ramey jumped back in for Coleman. around Kai Jones and he dropped did the rim do something to Kai Jones we don't know about <laughs> interestingly enough according to ESPN's latest mock draft from a couple of weeks ago Kai Jones uh, TCU has it down by 14 five minutes left Miles turns the corner and the Arkless. Oh my move. Kai Jones said that's enough. Of Ramey's hit his last two shots after missing his first four tonight. That's blocked. Johnson. 
has 11 points tonight at a career high 21. You know, Bob, you're, you're in this league all the time, and it's still one of the best things about the Big 12, aside from the tremendous quality. Of the dribble, lost his footing, somehow managed to get it to Abaji. He's on the deck as well. Andrew Jones cries it free. For Bob Hug. Jones oh, yeah, to take it away. Remember, Sher yeah, Sherman's been banged up, so getting him back is important. There, there's no way that Deuce McBride, as good a defender as he is, can, can keep Matt Coleman from getting to the basket, and then Matt finishes with the extra state. Yeah, and they've seen some of that. They thought uh, away from game situations. He just kind of found himself. Ty Jones, that's really impressed me from the start of the season is is the skill level, you know, the shooting. He has a feel for the game. Along. Gather it in. Lock. And Kai Jones is fouled by Avery Anderson. And I'm not sure. Kate Cunningham. And now Kai Jones on him. Cunningham gets inside. Ball fake. And he gets fouled. In Texas. He went through a little struggle for a while, but now he's having a real good year this year. Body's on. <laughs> Here's Teague now. Vital gets inside and scoops it in. I admire and respect you so much. Baylor by five. We close in on the 10 minute mark. Nice feed. Meyer hangs and hits. Yeah, they're gonna they're playing Kentucky right now, but uh, I think it's a great opportunity for Oklahoma to get a quality out of conference win. Tough nice move. job ball. John Chambi framed for Schiller. Big 12 basketball from Austin, number five, Texas, number 24, Oklahoma. Not only eight scholarship players available. And major foul trouble. Oh, there's a nice drive. And roll that time. There was no help because all three other def uh, offensive players, weak side, up on McClung at one point or another. Five out, Texas doing a lot of switching again. Shannon takes it hard. Man. And they haven't been good offensively, Texas Tech. Here's Burt in foul trouble. Still knocks it down. Good offensive play, but it's just unacceptable. Go from the right wing to get left wing, get all the way right to the rim. Reach in. And it's to do it one-on-one -on -one to the rim or with a step back. Matthews trying to split two defenders. And are at TCU. And by the way, Mark Neely, Baylor has lost three straight in Fort Worth. Campus in 2015. They told us about this eighth grader in the Cedar Park area of town. First step was good by Jones. Can't finish. Key possession here for the Cyclones. Johnson blocked by Kai Jones. But happy to bring you basketball from wherever. Uh, we are right now, Dan Schulman here in Toronto, and Jay Billis in Charlotte, Texas, up by 12 in Lawrence. By the way, Bearcats, not Bobcats, and, and that is what we need, what our Texas need. Back to Harold. three on the shot clock, pass Jones, Brown swallows it up. National championship team for Villanova back in 2017-18, Samuels was as well. Robinson Earl, baseline for the slam. What he rolls and then attack the bigger players, players that Villanova has on the floor. Nearly a steal by Brown, and then Samuels is fouled on the draw. Whether it's Sharp, whether it's Garrison Brooks, not related, I'm told, to Garrison Keeler. But today, the second, let's do this. Dizzying possibilities. Travel makes With us all realize that we are closer to one another. In researching this Texas basketball team, it's staggering to see how all of these guys came from athletic backgrounds. They're taking great care of me, man. They're, open, they're opening restaurants all over the place. I love Tommy Bahama. Go, but uh, his legacy will live on forever.
Rainey with the bucket, now has 14, out of control. His career high, 20 now. And the lead still 20. From Canada. And back to Nemhard. Driving against Royce Ham. And it's intercepted by Kidden. One of the great venues in the conference, no question. 8-0 run for the Longhorns, and that's an ill-advised pass that is stolen. Now, I'm a proud alumni, especially with a lot of those guys I play with. So I'm super proud right now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lit right now. Hey, well, I think since Baylor won at West Virginia tonight, I, I would say no, but it, it's Illinois. Lost the dribble, lost his footing. Somehow managed to get it to Abaji. He's on the deck as well. Andrew Jones cries it free. They got Kai Jones for a travel. Footwork. You got to know, see, 80 Sims. As they play the theme from Rocky gently in the background. Not many can do it in the country. Coleman gets credit for the assist. He threw it almost behind Sims, and it was go go gadget arms. He would have a sense of desperation about getting into the NCAA tournament. Nothing a given right now. Read. Their NCAA hopes are still alive. Their investigation appeal is still in play. Sloppy play right there by Kate. Sensational, a career high 25 for Texas. But the Longhorns right now on the short end. Good tip away by Jones. It ends up fit in nicely. Right side, Gibson couldn't hit. Quet had it rejected that time. Oh, and a. Without Manning, this is a more athletic team. Yeah, but they shoot it well. Well, you know, John, that they're hitting the fastball right now, okay? Texas is man. Go prior to that. Texas foul. Yeah, that's a Texas foul. On Jericho Sims, a wave three points per game for Baylor. Yeah, a team that... I usually think defense first and hit their average in over 90. The clock was off. In theory, Matthews could have tried to throw that back out to eat some clock after the rebound on this miss by McBride. In your opinion, Jay, is this the best team that Shaka Smart has had in his six years in Austin? Yeah, it probably is. I mean, I think... That's happened before, and he's going to keep attacking. He's showing and proving that when he's able to make shots as he's shown here difficult for texas as you would expect in the matchups that played so far this season as the win against san houston state was a four time for the program low he talks about mental health emotional health and physical health and he sees it just be second chance there for texas and a foul on the crash in by kai jones now we're early on the winner of this game is going to contribute to the player of the tournament. Signing on me, colors in the street, red, right, and orange. Hey, you're talking about there's good, Jerry. There's Jerry. That's the only music you listen to. Uh, That's not number true. one, Gonzaga taking on the level. Season. So he's got nothing to be embarrassed about, and I expect he will greatly wow. impact. The WAC Conference. Kai Jones. Four by four by four vehicles will remain open despite the harsh weather conditions. Stuff in that stat sheet as per usual. 11 points, 7 rebounds, 5 dives. For the man they call. Just three for nine from the field for Andrew Jones today, nine points. Versus losing a home game to a 16 and 14 team in Oklahoma State and losing that game by 20 points. Edwards lost the ball on the way to Cup. Kai Jones takes it away. Such a different player when he plays under control and at a maneuverable, easy pace. One of the three. And that's another open look generated by a turnover and eventually just comes down to somebody's got to make a shot from the perimeter. Here's getting after it. And again for Texas, the struggle has been real. The rebound margin now is plus 13 for the Cyclones. 
Slam by Kai Jones, a couple of freshman big men in the Big 12. That's his second body that he's caught today. Oh. That's a good sign for Jack Smart. Andrew Jones, the redshirt sophomore, knocks it down. Turnover, here comes Kai Jones. In front of us, don't we? we were talking Lamar Jackson a little earlier. I looked it up. Joe Burrow is one month older. Hypothetically, it's not going to happen. The series is going to continue. Do you think they score more points than have been scored today in basketball? Pretty, it's a probability. More minutes, and he's responding extremely well. Will Butler to the hoop. Gets Jones in the air. Jones got it. Hit that shot earlier in the game. Sims almost kept it alive. Jones, he's coming to see us. Get back and make this interesting. Alcorn's coming off a two-point win against McNeese. Active hands by Coleman. And a half. He has gotten the opportunity and he's making the most of it. Washington had a good shake there.